and then I'm going to uh, release you. See that? Oh, and what did I do? Okay. So we're going to talk just a couple minutes about what we're doing today. We already, you guys already know your budget. Mm -hmm. So you have today, Thursday, and Monday to do your the quest. We're going to go over that. Make sure you understand it. For seniors, uh, your last day will be whatever your exam period is and what you have done. Hopefully, you can have a majority of it done. I am. You will not be presenting this one as there is no time to present. I'm just going to grade it directly off your Google Slides. Okay, so it's going to come straight off your Google slide. Um, already went through this with the other class, and you guys already know what your money is. So um, you guys are going to just quick review of the quest that we already talked about last class. You're working for an IT company. You have X amount of money to build a pre-built. You should have that all done today, 100%. Or to buy all the parts and build a PC. Because the two things you're going to do with the same amount of money the point and the reason this is called the build or purchase quest is you're deciding whether it's better to build or to purchase a pre-built PC. So on the one that you build yourself, you need to make sure you have a case, a power supply, a motherboard, CPU with CPU cooling, that works with that motherboard. Memory, that works with the motherboard. Some sort of permanent storage, it can be M.2, it can be a solid state, it can be a spinny drive. Uh, you have to have video, sound, and network. It may be integrated with the motherboard, or it could be separate, depending on what you want. That's the required items. These additional items are additional. Uh, all parts must be new, no eBay parts whatsoever. You're not really doing a presentation. You're doing a Google slide. In fact, as soon as we're done, everyone's going to make a Google slide. You're going to share the Google slide to me, and you're going to submit the Google slide with nothing in it, just so I make sure everybody's got one shared and submitted in the class, okay? So, but you still have to meet the rubric item. So, introduce yourself, the amount of money and you have availing in, in your objective. That's one slide that says, Ashley Green, build or buy with $2,000. Boom, I got the point, okay? Because when I go through yours, I wanna know how much you have right away, okay? So you're gonna go through and you're going to find those parts, you're going to build a table as you go, and you're going to compare the two of them. Okay, so the table is straight off of this link that says start your own uh, spreadsheet. I want you to use this. Everybody look up here. Don't be doing anything else because everybody keeps asking questions about what I already went over once. So there are three tabs. The first tab you're going to do is actually the second tab. It says pre-built PC. You're going to enter as much information as you have, which may not be that much. Okay? People kept asking, it doesn't say what kind of case cooling. I was like, is there a picture with a fan in it? Yeah, there's one fan. Then you write one fan. That's all you know. Okay? Case, if you buy a Dell XPS, that's all you know. Dell XPS case. You put in what you know on the pre-built. Power supply might be unspecified. The one Luke looked at, no, no power supply listed whatsoever. You know it has one. So you just write unspecified or unknown or something that you looked and it wasn't there. Okay, so you're gonna fill in this with as much information you have. Motherboard may not have anything on it if you're buying a Dell XPS. Just write Dell XPS motherboard. Okay, you'll know the CPU. You may not know the CPU cooling. Okay, so some of these things you're going to put unknown, some of you are going to put as much as you can. When it cut, oh, and it says hyperlink, it says optional. I would have a hyperlink to where you bought it, just so you know how to get there if we need to get there, okay? On the second part, which you should get to at the latter half of today, it says build from parts. You should put the actual part name, each individual cost, because it's going to total it for you and hyperlinks to where you got them because you're going to want pictures and why do you want to go searching again. Just drop the hyperlink in there. It will build this sheet for you, which is the third tab over, from what you put in these two tabs. It's going to build the comparison table for you. So what does that look like? Here's an example of one I did. It's got what I could get in there, CPU cooling. Just as fans. It's got a fan. I could see it had a fan. That's all I could see. Okay. So I put what I could in there. I don't have makes or models. I put in how much it costs. It was $1,999.99. Nine 
and then I put a link to where that was. That's all I put in that sheet. In the one that's built from parts, I have all the individual parts in here. I have all the links to all the individual items, and it totaled it up as I went. So I know my budget was $2,000. It totaled it up, and I spent $1,916.91. I still had $83 left. And then it made this for me. It shows what the costs of the two were. It automatically fills this in. The only thing I have to do is say who won. I have to put in a B for built, a P for pre-built, or a T for tie in there, and it automatically comes up with who the winner is. Okay, so I'm comparing these two. Which one is better? This one, I put a B in there. I'm comparing these two. Which one is better? The pre-built was better, so I put a P in there. Compare. So that's all I did is you are deciding which one of these is better, you're putting a P, B, or a T in there, and then it's totaling up the number and saying, well, I think the build one. Okay? So that's what this one is. This is what the slide would look like on my, on my, on my uh, Google slide. I'd say, who won? Put in a picture of the spreadsheet, and then gives me a good thing to look at at the end. Okay? So start your Google slide today, share it, and submit it to me so I can see it. Use your budget to find your pre-built, okay, and start your, your PC part selection. And by the way, everybody said, where am I supposed to find a pre-built? There is, oh, there is, I, if you don't remember us going over it, let's see if I can get to the link. There we go. And open, there we go. The, oh, that was to the actual pre-built. Let's see. Let's go to where, this one right here is the link I'm talking about. If you don't remember, it's in the um, actual chapter book under, and this is a chapter nine book. There's one of the things that says where to buy. You can buy your pre-built from any of these links. Okay, anything, just find one that's in your budget. You're shooting for $50 under and $10 over in that window. If you can't find one there, close counts, okay. You might lose a point or two, but don't buy one for a thousand if your budget is 1500 that's not close that's somebody else's budget okay so that's it does anybody have any questions before i say go yes okay so the thing that you just saw the 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 the, the, the google sheet the google sheet yeah did you give us a link to yeah, that? it's right there i just showed you where the link was the link is here i'll show you again so right there, it says start your PC worksheet. It's a link right there. If you click on that, okay. there's two links in that. It'll make you make your own copy. Okay. And then you'll have it blank and ready to go. Yes. Any other questions? Spend oh. your time. You have three blocks. Two if you're a senior. So spend your time well. Yes. Okay, so about the result. budgeting. Okay, so when we're like picking an item with the money. The money do, that we have, is that for both or is it for? We're spending the same amount on each. Same amount. So what's your budget? Uh, let me check real quick. Um, You're trying to compare the two. So you have the exact same amount for both. Okay. So if I don't know what yours is. I can go down and look here. $2,000. Okay, so with $2,000, if you purchased a PC for $2,000 and you built a PC for $2,000, what PC do you end up that is a better PC? You're comparing those two. Okay. Okay? Because that's the point of the quest. <laughs>